can't lick your lips like you LL Cool J. Because only LL Cool J can lick his motherfucking lips like that, nigga. And that's on motherfucking cousin them, nigga. And that's on Blade Icewood, nigga. Blade said, what up? The fuck? Got beef? Put it in the comments then. <laughs> Good morning, y'all. Not too long woke up. I've been up for a minute, though. At least an hour. It's like 10.09. I've been up for a little over an hour. And, um, I'm hungry as shit, and there's nothing here. I'm gonna have to wait until tomorrow to go grocery shopping when I get paid. And, um, I'm about to go to the Coney. I'm about to go to the Coney Island by my house. Well, there's two other ones near, but I like Leo's Coney Island. Or whatever, I'm gonna get some breakfast, some pancakes. <gasps> Scrambled eggs and cheese and uh, corned beef hash. So, I ain't gonna record while I'm in there, but I'm probably gonna try to show y'all my food. That's if I don't just start eating my shit, because that's what usually happens. Like, I'll be up trying to take some shit for Instagram or something with my stories or whatever, and. As soon as my food get there, I forget to fucking take a picture or something or some type of clip of my food because I'm already diving my fat ass in the fucking plate. So, I'll see y'all when we get there. I'm gonna put on wig today. I'm about to do a full face of makeup and a no eyelashes look because I wear eyelashes all the time. I am pretty much tired of the shit. So, I haven't really did a full face of makeup. I just washed my face and I put some face moisturizer. And it says it's not supposed to be oily, but it's keeping my face very much shiny right now. Yeah. Oh, so I'm like completely out of my eyebrow thing I forgot what is it called it's like some eyebrow cream that I dip a brush in and do my eyebrows with this right here what do it say it's tattoo so it's a uh, it's tattoo studio I don't know but you know what I'm saying a little eyebrow thingy see that shit gone this foot I don't know but I'm probably, probably gonna try to see if this gonna work down low key My ass can't see, so that's why I be having to be so fucking close to it. I'ma just pick it up. Yeah. Almost like I can't wait to be able to wash this shit off. So I have some dark um, foundation and some light down foundation. And I'm gonna mix them together because this one is too light and then this one is too dark. You see? And this one is too light. That's the color right there. So yeah, I just mix them. I haven't done it in a minute though because I don't use this makeup, but for whatever reason, so I wanted to do a full face of makeup to see if I still got it. Or actually, is my fucking hand dark in my face? No. I mean, my face is darker than my hand. Alright y'all, I'm gonna come back when my face is fully done without this light because I look like a fucking clown right now. So I'll be back to y'all. So yeah, I'm gonna miss like some lip gloss or something. What up y'all? Today is June 12th or 13th. Whatever day it is, actually, I'm gonna put it in the video anyways, but... It is Tuesday, and I decided that I wanted to braid my hair. I was thinking about it yesterday, but today I'm like, I might as well, because I plan on just being in the house today anyways, because it's supposed to be doing a lot of raining today. 
and um yeah so the whole wig vibe for the summertime so ever since i got my transplant i just been way warmer than i used to be when i was on dialysis and stuff like that and my kidney was failing i was always cold like every day that i would go to dialysis i would have to um they would give me iron like through my IV and shit like that because even in dialysis you'll be cold as fuck when they be taking your blood, your blood out your body to clean it and stuff but I noticed that <clears throat> I got my transplant in October so like the fall and the winter time when it will be super cold because Michigan is cold as fuck in the winter and I will wear my coat I would be no I'll sweat just pouring and shit just in the winter time and then now when it is warm I am like sweating my ass off so I'm like I've been wearing my natural hair since like the end of May maybe the very end of May to June and stuff like when I go out wearing in a ponytail doing my little curls or whatever but I'm kind of tired of that too so I'm gonna just throw some braids in and see how I feel about that so I don't have to keep messing with my hair and I will wear my hair out, but I feel like when I was in the winter time again, being in the house, and I had my hair out doing stuff around the house and shit like that, if I was like cleaning up or doing stuff, that I would start sweating. I would always have to put my hair up in a, a ponytail or something. So I don't know. I just want my hair to be cute in the uh, for a little bit. And if I really like wearing my braids, because I'm wearing, I'm using some old hair. It's just going to be some dark brown hair. And if I need to, I'm going to wear a couple of them red pieces. But yeah, I'm going to come back once I get like an hour in. So right now what I'm doing is I'm just going to put my hair in some, look how thin these braids is. And look how wide this party is. My hair real thin. Um, I'm going to put them in these individuals and then crochet the braiding hair and then I'm going to braid it like that so yeah you know i got one bar so i'm gonna put this uh camera on charger but i'll show you what's going on it's about 12 something or it's either one or 12 so like i said i'll be back in an hour i am back it's been a little bit over an hour so i got one side of my head done and honestly just putting these bitches in individual braids with my natural hair is getting me tired bro like I don't know if I'm going to uh, add the weave into it, the um, brain hair. I possibly will, but not today. I think I'm going to just um, wet my ends and have my ends curly. Like, I didn't want my hair like this before, but I didn't take the time to just actually do parts in them. I would just, you know, do it with my fingers and just put brace all over my hair just to get my hair out the way and to not have a ponytail. But I'm going to finish it like I did this side with the square parts. And I'll come back with the whole head. I didn't turn the camera on and didn't even say nothing. But right now I'm going to phone my homegirl. Um, she's trying to do get the recipe or the ingredients to make taco soup. Because she had it one time while she was here. And she really liked it. So I'm going to phone with her. But while I'm doing that, I just oiled my scalp. I'm going to wet my hands and put some even conditioner in there. And then see if I can do some curly shit. so huge in this so uh, this is like a bodysuit and these leggings are jean print my favorite jean print leggings so yeah i'm just about to chill i just got back in the house 
this is my first time picking up the camera today and it's like nine o'clock at night um i need to clean up my hookah my hookah look really bad but i don't feel like it because my stomach is starting to hurt let me see Let me see. Get like, yeah, little booty, booty snap. So yeah, whatever. Let's chill for a minute. It was not that hot today, but it is so hot as fuck to me right now. Mm. Bro, strap killing my shoulders. Oh my goodness, look at that indent. Let me see if y'all can see it. Look, fucking bra and then in my motherfucking shit. Oh, I don't know. Did I turn the camera on today? I don't think I did, but I redid my teeth gems. I did the butterfly this time. Let me see. I got my teeth uh, whitened. But yeah. Uh, I ain't about to do shit. Like I said, I need to clean out my hookah cup because, oh, uh, oh, let me tell y'all about something. So, I bought this big ass thing. I don't even know where it's at. Because I usually get like the little box of the hookah tobacco. I bought the big box for like 10. And I smoked it. I had bought it yesterday. I smoked on it last night and I realized that that shit, the flavor is just trash. I just don't like it. Like, I can't even inhale the hookah, really, because it's like something that's in it is just too strong. So, I went there today and tried to see if I could, you know, exchange for another one. And they tell me they can't do that shit. Like, shit, it ain't like it's some motherfucking food. And I fucking took a bite of it. It's on my arm on the exchange. It's some tobacco. And you sitting there mixing up tobacco right now. Y'all selling them in the box and in the jar. And y'all got tobacco that y'all make up or whatever. And y'all putting the oranges, nigga. Let me get a different one and put this shit in one of them oranges. But it's like whatever. I'm stuck with some tobacco that I don't fucking want. Hookah tobacco. Come on, AC. Come through, AC. But yeah, I'm about to go on commercial break. Uh. My motherfucking phone in there is just going through everybody's stories. And I'm not even in there. I'll be back. I'm gonna just going ahead and take this chicken out. It is frozen, so I'm just gonna throw it in the refrigerator for tomorrow. And I'm gonna make like some type of chicken, pasta, whatever. So yeah, we ain't got shit going on for dinner tonight. I could make some cabbage, but the sausage, I could make some cabbage, but the sausage for it is frozen too. But you know what? I could put the sausage in some, um, in some, um, uh, I ain't about to cook that shit. It's a couple of noodles and it's up, nigga. Noodles and motherfucking pizza rolls. And if he don't like it, he'll have to go buy him something to eat. Because I ain't cooking. I cook like two or three times this week. Sure. I'm tired of that. Let me get this hookah cook. I don't understand why this part is stuck on this part. Because I only dropped it yesterday. But why would we make that part stick together? Because I dropped it. What's up, y'all? I have not been on the camera in a very long time, and that's because June fucking sucks. June sucks. It sucks real bad. I'm about to go door dash. My second time door dashing, and like I said, June sucks. So that's why I'm door dashing. Um. And I'm about to get out here, but before I start, I'm going to uh, get some gas because, yeah, I'm going to get some gas so I could be on full. And then I'm going to go out there. I had checked it earlier this morning because I had a doctor's appointment this morning. And um, and I had checked it while after my doctor's appointment see if I wanted to do it. But it also was raining, so it stopped raining. It's still cloudy, but it's dry and it's not longer raining. I'm going to take these glasses off. 
<coughs> so I can see. And um, yeah. So I'm just play some music and start my journey. Hopefully I don't have a difficult time. When I did it the first time yesterday, I had did it in um, what was it? First time yesterday I did it with my homegirl because she done it before and she was kind of showing me how to use it. So I think I pretty much got the gist of the shit. So I'm about to go, like I said, and we is about to go. Um, get some gas first. Oh, let me pray. Oh, Jesus, please take me from the police. You know, I'm praying. But you man, it was kind of hot. I'm gonna run this down. And then I got on this sundress that I pretty much wear around the house. You don't see it a couple times. I love my throw over stuff to wear around the house or just do something quick. I actually have for this summer, I would say this summer and last summer, I have not really found any um, really cute sundresses to wear like for the summertime so all of my sundresses the long ones are very much old so i just don't wear them out i just wear them around the house and wear them for nightgowns and shit another thing is um what am i about to say i don't even know if y'all can hear me because i had the windows down too but another thing i was gonna say is the fuck i was gonna say Damn, I done forgot that quick. What the fuck? Child, no child. Fuck it. <laughs> ah, I remember what I was gonna tell y'all. So, oh, another thing is, I had char, I had my chart, my camera fully charged, but I have not used it. I probably recorded on it once, and it literally been sitting for like over a week on the stand in the dining room. Oh, I think I did record last week something about me trying to learn how to do t the Tamil t time dance or line dance. And I actually know how to do that shit now. I just need to practice some more. And it's a little workout. I ain't been to the gym either since before the 13th of fucking um, June. And it is like June 22nd right now. So I haven't been in like two weeks. Which I should go, but I'll probably do that a little later. Probably after uh, I do some of this door dashing situation. But yeah, girl. Oh, so what I was saying about the camera is, so it's one bar down. So I'm just going to record as much as uh, battery life that I can. Somebody should be lying. Like, I don't have no sounds in my car. Or I don't even have the bass on on my thingy. And when I have the music up on my car, the damn rear view mirror, it just be vibrating. So I can barely see what car is fucking behind me. When I got the music up loud. That shit crazy. Ooh. Bitches, you gonna smack it to me or what? Or is you gonna let me make this turn, ho? The fuck? Fucking crack, baby. What juicy say? You like, shut the fuck up! Play with some pivot, man. I hate people be driving and shit. Crazy as fuck, like you got somewhere to go. If you got somewhere to go that motherfucking bad, leave your fucking ass out the fuck early. Why is you riding up? I'm at the motherfucking yield and shit. And you coming behind me like you about to smack it to the back of my motherfucking ass. The fuck? Then we're getting on the freeway, you riding my motherfucking coattail and shit. Like you want to take this bitch to Pile Town or something. With your big ass truck. Yeah, ho. So I made it to this grass station. I'll be back. All right, y'all. I am back. Got some gas. Let's see how much gas I got. I was on a half a tank, so let's see what twenty dollars did. Okay. Almost at full. I'm in between a, a full and a quarter of a tank away from full. In between. So yeah. Couldn't get Michael Kors if you was fucking Michael Kors. One thing about it. This little humidity that's going on is giving very much hot in this car. But it's like kind of, it's not raining, it's like sprinkling, and the clouds are super, super dark outside. That's probably why I look fucking dark or whatever on the camera because ain't no sunshine for real, for real. And we were supposed to go to a, a boat party on the fucking lake today, and because of the situation and the weather at hand, that shit's over with. But it's supposed to be something going on tomorrow. And 
always say this shit, I might bring y'all, but if I don't, I'm about to start uh, putting in my pictures and my videos uh, from that I post on Instagram from going out. I'm going to put that in the videos if I, yeah, because I don't want to bring my camera anyway, so I'll just post the stuff from my camera, I mean from my phone, and I'll put the shit on my video as well. Okay, you trying to go over here, I'm trying to go over here. You see the arrow say you need to get the fuck over, so that's what you need to do, baby. That fucking train going across this fucking bridge up here scared the fuck out of me. I'ma fuck you till you ain't one. You got to walk right into the damn street while people driving. Just committing suicide like a motherfucker. Fuck life. What it is, y'all? Oh, what's up? Can your girl get a couple of views? Can you look me up on YouTube? Hit that like and subscribe button too. Hey, what's going on, y'all? Today is the next day. Yesterday when I went door dashing, it was a complete fail. I did one order. And they had me drive far as fuck for this order. Then it bust out raining. When I got to the place to drop off the order, it was at a corporate building and the bitch wasn't even downstairs and I couldn't even call her or nothing. And I waited for like 10 minutes for her to come downstairs, so I just left her food there. And then on my way back home, or I was about to start doing another DoorDash, but I had to get back to my neighborhood, my area where I was doing the shit. And I was in the freeway traffic for 40 minutes because... It was like an accident or something like that. And everything just pissed me off with the rain and being in traffic. So I had just quit yesterday. But I'm going to try to go out there today. I didn't check the DoorDash app like two or three times. And there's literally no busy like area near me. All that shit is far. And I'm not about to waste gas to drive out far to go DoorDashing. So I'm probably going to go out there again. I'm just keep on checking to see when they got shit available in my area. What it is, y'all? Oh, what's up? Can a girl get a couple of views? Can you look me up on YouTube? Hit the like and subscribe button too. Hey, it's your girl Angel Moore. I am back. It is the next day. <sighs> yeah, yesterday did not turn out how I had planned. I forgot after to get dressed to come on the camera and show you what I was wearing, but I did take a little bit of footage, not too much yesterday. Um, then I thought about putting it back on today just to show you what I was wearing, but scratch all that because I went door dashing today and then about, I don't know, between 6 something and 7 p.m. It started busting out rain and getting dark and all that shit and I was like, okay, I'm going to go my ass home. And I forgot I recorded the BET Awards is today. I am about to watch the red carpet because I wasn't here when it started at 6 because it's after 7. 721 the BT Awards is gonna be starting at 8 so I'm about to be watching this and editing at the same time and I'm glad that I did record it because when you record stuff you can fast forward the commercials so that is a plus so y'all gonna watch the BT Awards with me get my reaction to what's going on and whatever so let's see because the red carpet part just started and I think somebody might start be like performing or something but while that's happening, I'm going to eat first because the only thing I ate today was some mini tacos from 7-Eleven and it's 7 o'clock. And I ain't eat that until about 4 o'clock, those mini tacos. So, I'm hungry as fuck. If you know hip hop, it's so nice. Woo! We love hip hop, baby. I'm more of a hip hop and R&B person myself. Now put your hands up in the sky. I'ma push it down. NLE chopper. No. No. If you watched it, then you watched it. If you haven't watched it, I'm about to show you what this nigga got on. You see his fucking shirt? It's like a holter top in the front and the back. Got a little holter top going on. Y'all gotta see the back. I ain't turning it off or switching it till it turned. But you see the back of it? I don't know. But I guess sometimes they be trying to be different, but some of that, they little difference be some other shit. My man's got dance. He be dancing and shit, too, with his shit. He got dance room tents and everything. Nigga be rapping. I think he be rapping. Sure. He 
It wasn't bad looking though. Ah. And I almost mistake Pretty V for fucking Lauren London for a minute. Until her name popped up. Not Lauren London. Lisa Ray. That's how. I got it on pause. I'm about to show y'all. Y'all can't tell me for a minute she ain't look like Lisa Ray. She ain't look like Lisa Ray. Like quick glance. She looked like Lisa Ray. We have less than 20 minutes, about almost 15 minutes until the actual BT Wars stars, and I'm still going through the red carpet. I'm only 14 minutes in. Oh shit, I'm passing shit on. Passing it on. So this boy need to stop with his life. <laughs> You know, I was the first to do a lot, you know. Shout out to you. Too. The first this to nigga. do a lot. Busta Rhymes with the Lifetime Achievement Award. That's what's up. Busta I don't mind Busta hearing a couple Busta of old Busta shit. They, no, they about to honor Busta, Busta, Busta Rhymes. I like me some Busta Rhymes. We just did a flashback on Tyree Banks. And that flashback, I don't know what year that was. She was on the BET Awards presenting somebody with an award. But that wig she had on was bad. Not bad in a good way, but bad in a bad way. So the BET Awards has started and I went back to the recorded red carpet and it's still making that staticky noise so I don't know what the fuck is up. That shit is pissing me off. So I feel like if I don't watch it live, the BET Awards, then it's going to be staticky. So I'm going to just go ahead and watch the BET Awards while it's on. Uh, what's his name? The nigga that's uh, go with JT. That I just want to rock. I just miss his fucking performance. Yo, this, um, I'm taking my braids down too. I just decided to do that because it needs to be washed. I probably had these braids in for about two weeks now. Or a little over a week or two weeks or whatever. So, the, um, at the roots, it got all gooky or whatever. So, I chunked together and shit. I don't like that. So, um, I need to wash this shit. I'm using a damn clip chip for the braids. Why they don't got this shit full screen? Oh. Big Daddy Kane got more recognition than all of MC Nice and D Nice. Or say MC Light and D Nice. <laughs> this old ass nigga try to dance. You said he just a friend. Oh, he had died, I forgot. RIP that nigga. I think Ice Spice gonna win this one. Coco Jones. That's the girl. She play on Bel Air, the new Bel Air from um, that they recreated or whatever like that from Fresh, the Fresh Prince or whatever. She fucking plays on it. Girl, get your crying ass off the stage. <laughs> Let me shut up. <laughs> she had me slip. I remember when I did 106 in circumstances. Keep pushing because we are deserving of great things. Keep pushing, baby. We back. So Hillary from Bel Air. Her name is Coco something. She's a singer too. She just won an award. DJ Vaughn. Why this nigga out here selling sausages and shit? Lalo is doing too much. Why is that a grocery store, bro? She ain't even fucking. <clears throat> Her ass trying to do these dance moves so fucking hard. She ain't even fucking really fucking rapping because her ass out of breath. She got the music saying the fucking words and the lyrics and shit in the background. So you can hear her in the music and then you can hear her trying to speak on this microphone while she dancing. Like, bitch. I don't know why. I don't like Lotto. I didn't really like her when she first came out. Nah, I don't like her ass now. Nah. And what? If you got beef, put it in the comments then. <laughs> I wonder if Cardi B gonna come out on this song or she gonna do the whole song by herself. I ain't seen Nicki there, but I did see Ice Spice in the crowd, so uh, I know it's a little beef going on. R.I.P. Shawty Love. Child, y'all ain't gonna tell me I have my belly out like that. Hey. Oh, R.I.P. Nate Dog. Yeah, we just said an R.I.P. to a lot of them, but I'm glad that they, they all older, though. Was older. <laughs> Dog. Tiger got on these motherfucking. He got on these motherfucking Tims, dawg. These Tims big as fuck, but the way they connected to them skinny ass legs, it's like a motherfucking a toothpick. Ah, I got the ah, I got the best fucking 
This is what it's giving, nigga. That's his leg, and this nail polish bottle is the motherfucking boot, nigga. I am not gonna fucking lie to you, baby. <laughs> oh, I gotta stop talking about people in this big ass outfit. Like, your little ass, some skinny ass legs, and that big, them big ass boots. This bitch singing in the rain. She really emotional. You know, you really emotional when you sing in the rain, nigga. I'm shocked as fuck because I ain't even know the bitch could sing for real. I just thought she was an actor on Bel Air. I'm crazy as hell. Me and my boyfriend will talk about it because we be watching Bel Air and shit too. I don't think this nigga knew he was, she, she was a singer either. But I ain't gonna lie. These individual braids, because I thought I was gonna put some weave in here, but just doing it like this or whatever, I got a lot of compliments when I wore my hair out and shit like that. And you know what? It's just easy and stuff. Like for days where it's super hot and I don't want to wear wigs and something like that. And I don't want to have my hair just like in a fucking ponytail. But I think I'm going to wear like my natural hair in a ponytail. Do some little other natural hair styles. But this individual braid stuff is what's really. That's what's it right there. Did Diddy son just present an award and lick his lips like he LL Cool J? Nigga you can't lick your lips like you LL Cool J. Because only LL Cool J can lick his motherfucking lips like that. Nigga, and that's on motherfucking cousin them, nigga. And that's on Blade Icewood, nigga. Blade said, what up? The fuck? Why the fuck is Tatiana Taylor husband dressed like the way he's dressed right now? Do he do he even still play basketball? Like what the fuck? Matter of fact, Matter of fact I don't even think that's her I'm husband. Sorry, I take that back. Awesome. And stop blowing your damn horn outside, the fuck. Yeah, that's what the fuck I thought. I ain't feeling DeVito's outfit. That's one thing for sure. It's about to be a wrap for these uh the color ends. See how little when I first started, I think I started from right here. And it's starting to grow out. Hair not growing, but it sure is getting shorter. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, I'm set dress funny as fuck. <laughs> Riding clean, but your gas tank is on E. <laughs> oh, camera's about to die, so this will be the end of this. I'm probably gonna do the rest of my little shit talking on Instagram. So peace out.